Today we're writing G code. Let's get into it. Okay, so you might recognize Mosaic's big brother, the optimizer, where all the manufacturing side of Mosaic goes down, at least for the CNC part. You might be able to get cut lists and stuff from normal Mosaic, but out of the optimizer, you will get all the CNC operations, cut lists, all that stuff. So for the all intents and purposes, I have a whole video and a deep dive into the optimizer, but today we're just gonna discuss G-code, running G-code, that's it. So we're clicking optimize we're just going to re-optimize the parts that i have here so you have these patterns if you hit generate g-code on the main pattern when you're viewing all the patterns it'll give you an option to run all the sheets that you have that you're viewing here you can also run m multiple materials if you want to just run all the sheets for all the all the stuff that you have currently ran for this job you can also create flip sheet programs or individual flipped sheet programs. So this is going to give you an individual part program if you want to rerun it with it flipped over, say bumped into some bumpers or uh, pins on your CNC machine. You would click that if you have flip side operations. So we're not going to do that. You don't have much control when you do that part. What you do have is a lot more control when you click a sheet, uh, let's say generate G code for one sheet, and then you hit calculate. So this is gonna give us what the operations are. So it allows you to cycle through, you can click this one. So you have your drilling, five millimeter, your eight millimeter drilling, which we have on these doors. You have the pocket, which is all the dados and the rabbits. And then you have your, outs, your outside perimeter pass. So if you hit this gen, this G-code button here, after you've hit calculate, you'll get this little pop-up box that says create primary sheet program. If you have no flip side operations and none of these parts are green, then it, you'll, all these other ones will be grayed out. So you have no operations on the other side of your parts. Click OK, and it's gonna give you an option to drop it in a folder. By default, it's gonna drop it in your job folder. So if you have a job folder, and then it'll have a G code folder. It may not have this G code folder. There's a button to click on or off, whether you want it to just drop it in a folder in the job folder. And if you hit save, it'll save this file. Our machine runs .tap files. So we've set that up as, as the uh, output file. S1 means sheet one. So that's what sheet you're running. R01 means the run one. So if you run this one time, you'll get sheet one run one. So let's click save, generate G code again. We'll delete the old one. Now it says run two, we've ran it twice and so on. You can run it many times. Another option you can do is say you just wanna run the pocketing tool path. You can click it in this little menu here, deselect this box that says all tools and then generate G code. Now you're gonna get sheet one, tool four, run one because you're running just tool four. Machine stopped halfway through or you hit the emergency button by accident. That way you can run just the few extra tool paths you need. You don't have to rerun the whole sheet. You also have the simulate button if you wanna you know, simulate where the tool is running. Tells you where the start and end points are. It's kind of helpful sometimes. Stop that. If you click view all patterns and you hit generate G code, you may run all these sheets in one shot. As it says batch code G code completed, six files created. Now, as far as this G code tab goes, I'm not exactly sure why this tab even exists. I could live my whole life and never have this tab and never look at it. Everything that's in here can be available somewhere else. Uh, maybe if you need to, you know, resurface your spoil board with Mosaic. Yeah, these things, honestly, I don't, I don't use hardly ever because everything can be done in this patterns tab here. So as far as running G-code, everything's done in the patterns tab. 
and you have the two options of run the g-code for the single sheet get a little bit more control over what's happening and then the other option is run it for all the sheets so that's it for this video thanks for watching have a great one if you're eager to dive deeper into Mosaic, enhance your shop, or explore the possibilities with CNC routers and 3D printing, you're in the right place. Your feedback drives our content, so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips. Watch out for our next video.